Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a monthly favorites video for the month of March. I have some products that I've been loving this month and I just have to share them with you guys. But before we do get into the video, let me know if you notice anything different. Pause this video and comment down below what you think is different about this video than the rest of my videos. I'll just give you guys a few seconds. So I actually finally got a microphone for my camera. I've never had a mic on my camera for my entire almost two years that I've been doing YouTube. And I never really understood the purpose of having a mic, but I came to the realization that my audio sounded really, really bad. And I hope the audio sounds 10 times better than it did before. I will leave my mic down below for you guys in case any of you guys have a YouTube channel and want to invest in a good mic. I also do plan on doing a video on all of my equipment. I know this has nothing to do with the video, but I do get questions on that a lot and I will definitely do that in the near future once I feel like my setup is to its full potential. But anyway, today I'm going to be filming a monthly favorites for you guys and I don't typically do monthly favorites, but if you guys do want me to do them more often, let me know down below and I will definitely do that for you guys. But if you guys do end up liking this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you guys here. I also heard that YouTube is not gonna be showing you all of your subscriptions in your subscriptions box anymore, which I think is really strange because is that not the purpose of having your subscriptions box to see who you're subscribed to? But apparently the algorithm is going to change or it may have already and YouTube is only going to show you the videos that it thinks that you want to see based on videos that you've watched in the past which I think is ridiculous, but if you guys do want to see all of my videos and make sure that you see all of my videos, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon down below. That way you guys can be notified every single time I upload a new video. That's basically enough rambling I'm going to do for this intro, but if you guys want to see my monthly favorites for the month of March, then please keep watching. So for my first favorite of this month, I actually was not going to put this in my video before I started, but I actually just took a selfie like right before I started filming and everybody was asking where my earrings are from and I figured I might as well put them in here because one, I've been loving them this month. I've been obsessed with hoops, big hoops, little hoops, medium hoops. I just, I love them. Bedazzled, gold, silver, all of the above. Also, since all of you guys are asking, I can just link them down below for you guys if I can find them. And they were also relatively cheap in my opinion for the quality of them. I think that they don't match their price at all. So I actually got these from a store called Icing. I don't know if this is a thing throughout all of the United States or if it's just where I live, but Icing is like a store similar to Claire's. I believe that they're kind of owned by the same people, but icing I think is supposed to be like the older version of Claire's, if that makes any sense. Um, but I was looking for some cute tiny hoops and then I ended up finding these big hoops too and I just think that they look so cute together. They're all just silver, but they're like super sparkly and bedazzled as you can see, which I've been obsessed with lately. My next favorite this month is actually going to be a self tanner. This is the first self tanner that I've ever tried and I am obsessed with it. I used to kind of be afraid of the idea of self tanning because one, I didn't want to be orange. Two, I thought I hated the smell because anytime my friends would come over, I would smell their self tanner, like spray tan, and it would just kind of make me nauseous. I just hated the smell. It was a little bit too strong for me. And also I thought it would come off kind of weird. I thought it would be patchy. I thought it would be really noticeable that it was super duper fake. I used to literally tan every single day. I was obsessed with tanning for like this entire summer and I laid out every single day with baby oil on, which is so terrible for your skin. And I feel like I've just been taking better care of my skin lately. And also I feel like I just don't have the time to go lay outside for hours like I used to. And I've just become so hooked on self tanning and this one in particular is definitely like amazing. I'm obsessed with it. And if you guys do want a self tanning routine maybe, then let me know. Also, I'm not sponsored by this company. They sponsor a lot of people. I feel like I say that about a lot of products on my channel, but just know I would obviously tell you if any product that I'm mentioning to you guys was sent to me, sponsored, etc. But this is not, although I would love to work with this company because their products are absolutely incredible. So the self tanner that I've been absolutely loving this month is the Loving Tan Self Tanner. Mine is in the shade Dark. I believe they have Ultra Dark as well, but they don't have it in the Two Hour Express. I do want to try that one next because this one is still pretty, pretty dark, but I want to see what it would look like if it was just a little bit darker. But this one is the Two Hour Express, like I said, so even if the smell was that strong for me, which 
it's not at all i actually kind of like the smell which is weird for me to say because i've never liked the smell of a self tanner um, but i think it smells pretty good and it doesn't smell too strong either but if it really was that strong for you you literally only have to leave it on for two hours to develop and then you wash it right off also the awesome thing about this self tanner is that it is not streaky whatsoever it also has like a bronzing guide in it so when you're applying it you can see where the color is going and if it looks a little bit streaky you already have that guide on you so you can just kind of go back in and buff it out and get it to be a little bit smoother and then even still if you can't get all of the streaks to smooth out in a sense which usually isn't the case um, once you wash it off the streaks are completely gone if you had any to begin with and it just leaves such a beautiful like olivey undertone tan um, which I really like it doesn't make you look orange and I use the glove obviously so my hands don't get orange either the next product that I've been loving this month you guys would already know if you watched my skincare routine and if you didn't I will have it linked down below for you guys so you can see how I use it but I will sum it up for you guys right now this is my Curology bottle and I've been obsessed with it again they did not send this to me I am just in love with this product and I bought it with my own money and the really great thing about this is that they formulate a medication for your own skin type you take a survey you have your own dermatologist online and it's helped my skin so tremendously I literally have only missed like two or three nights since I've started Curology, I've been using it for around two months now, and it's just evened up my skin tone so well. It's definitely gotten rid of a lot of the texture on my skin and small bumps that just would always show up all the time. I really don't get them anymore. And I also do have a link that they literally give everybody when you sign up for Curology, and I will put it down below for you guys in case you guys do want to try it one month free of Curology. I honestly recommend to just try it out, and if you don't like it, just cancel it. It's really that easy. And another product that I have been loving this month is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I also mentioned this in my skincare routine, but I really only mentioned it for my neck. I do feel like it helps my neck. I know I might sound a little bit psycho, but since it is a tightening cream, I use it there as well. But I didn't really mention where else I use it. I did a little bit briefly, but I really use this all over my body. I use it on my stomach. The place that I usually see the most difference when I use this consistently is on my stomach. I really do feel like it does help tighten and then I obviously put it on my chest as well and on my butt and I feel like it really does help in tightening and smoothing not to mention it just smells so good so I mean I feel like I could bathe in this okay so now I'm gonna show you guys a few makeup favorites that I've been loving this month and the first product that I have been absolutely loving this entire month is the Maybelline Superstay foundation this is such a great foundation for a drugstore foundation I do have a review and first impressions on this and the Amrezy highlighter. Amrezy? Yes, Amrezy. I always forget how to say her name. I don't feel like I really got the full effect in my review. I mean, I still loved it the first time I tried it, but I've been using it more consistently. It's so full coverage without having to use a ton of product. But even though it's extremely full coverage, it's super lightweight. It really doesn't feel heavy on your face. It lasts throughout the day, which is so incredible. It's super duper matte. So if you do like a matte coverage, this is definitely the way to go for you because it's so matte. It literally helps contain my oils in my T-zone so well. Also, I do really feel that it's super comparable to tons of high-end foundations that I have. Also better than some high-end foundations I have, which I feel like is a very strong statement for a drugstore foundation. And if you haven't picked it up, honestly, I recommend trying it out because I believe I got mine for $9.99 each, which even for the drugstore, I think is so amazing for a foundation. The next makeup product that I've been loving is of course the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I literally take this with me everywhere. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing a Maybelline lip gloss. I've been obsessed with this lip gloss this entire month, honestly since I bought this lip gloss every single person that I know that has tried it has been obsessed with it not to mention it looks so great on every single skin tone even if I'm not wearing makeup I will literally still take this with me every single day and I will put this on like F the chapstick it honestly just makes your lips look so hydrated and plump throughout the day and not to mention it's not sticky either which is something that I look for in a lip gloss I hate when lip glosses are overly sticky and it lasts for a super long time as well I really don't have to reapply unless of course I'm eating or drinking I obviously have to put Put the Emreezy highlighter in here from Anastasia. I've been obsessed with this from the second I opened it. I did a first impressions on it and I literally fell in love with it. I've never had a highlighter that I've been so obsessed with and it's 
honestly the only highlighter that I ever use now. It just looks so like natural on the skin. I feel like a lot of highlighters look super artificial and will just kind of look like a streak on your face. And obviously you can build it up and make it super blinding if you want, but if you want it to look like a natural, like wet glow from within, you can totally do that too, which is what I love about this highlighter. It honestly just looks like a bar of gold. Like looking at it on the camera and then seeing it in person. If you've not had the chance to go into like a Sephora and actually look at the highlighter for yourself, then I definitely recommend you do because it's just so breathtaking in person. Like I don't even know how to explain it, but she definitely killed it with this highlighter. I'm obsessed with it and I wear it every single day. I guess that this favorite can kind of go along with makeup, but it's kind of like a random favorite, but I thought I would share it with you guys in case you haven't found a good easy quick spot cleaner for your brushes obviously if I have a client or if I want to deep clean my brushes then I will deep clean them a different way but if you just need to spot clean a brush super quickly then I definitely think that this is a great spot cleaner this is a Sephora citrus brush cleaner and I actually found this because my friend Blaine started using it and it worked so well he actually let me use it a few times and I was just like in shock with how fast and easy it was sometimes when doing eyeshadow on myself I'll find that I want to use the same brush and I just don't have multiple versions of the same brush so I'll just wipe it down really quickly with this in a napkin and it'll be completely clean and I can just go in with a different eyeshadow shade and it's super quick and easy it's also very potent it kind of smells good but it smells extremely strong at the same time but I feel like I've used it a lot and it still really isn't that empty so I feel like it's definitely gonna last me quite some time, but I definitely recommend this to you guys if you guys do need a spot cleaner. Speaking of my friend Blaine, he actually went out of town, I believe around a week ago, and was so sweet and brought me back two things from his trip. The first thing he got me was a rose quartz bracelet, which I actually have outside right now because the full moon is coming up and I just left it outside. Um, but the second thing is this little opal. He got both of them from the House of Intuition, which is just like a metaphysical shop. And I am just obsessed with this. I've been wanting an opal for so long. If you know me, then you know that my birthstone's an opal. And I've also just been a little bit hesitant on buying myself opal for a long time. And he remembered that and he saw this little opal and thought of me and brought it back, which is so sweet of him. And I'm literally obsessed with it. I just think opal is so beautiful and I've always wanted one. Opal also has amazing healing properties. If you guys wanna go look them up, you can go look them up. I'm not gonna go into details, but I'm just obsessed with this crystal, so thank you Blaine if you're watching this. Two hair products that I've been loving this month are from Numi. Numi is a company that I have been obsessed with for like literally years since I first started my YouTube channel when I was in the seventh grade. And back when I did my first hair tutorial on this channel um, using one of their curling irons, they literally reached out to me and sent me shampoo and conditioner just like as a gift, just to send them to me, which was so nice of them. And they have easily became my new favorite shampoo and conditioner. I'm actually running out of them because I'm obsessed with them. And I've been using them like crazy, but they just make my hair so soft. It smells so good. It's the New Me White Truffle Shampoo, and this one is the New Me White Truffle Conditioner. I feel like I'm not very consistent with my shampoo and conditioner, but I've been consistent with these because anytime that I don't use them, I find that my hair is a lot frizzier. It's not as soft. But when I use these, I feel like my hair is just like a lot more tame and it's a lot more easy to manage. And the last favorite for this month is definitely a random favorite, but I thought I would throw it in here in case anybody else has trouble sleeping at night like me. I have the hardest time trying to fall asleep. I could lay down at 9 p.m. and still be rolling in my sleep till 4 p.m. if I don't fully do my nightly routine, and this has definitely became such a strong part of it. I know it's so random, but I'm trying to help you guys out in case you're like me and you can't sleep. And it honestly tastes so good. It's one of my favorite teas that I've ever tried. It is the Sleepy Time Celestial Seasonings Herbal Supplement Caffeine Free Sleepy Time Extra Tea. That is a mouthful. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this tea does have valerian root in it, and I believe that that is the same as what is put in catnip for cats, and it actually makes cats hyper, but it has the opposite effect on humans. It makes us like relaxed and ready for sleep. But if I don't do this, then I literally can't sleep. Like. If I don't have my sleepy time tea before I go to bed, like there's no way I'm going to be able to fall asleep. It just helps me relax. And since it became such a strong part of my nightly routine, it just 
helps my brain to know like, okay, we're drinking our sleepy time tea, we're putting our oils in our diffuser, it's time to go to bed. There's also obviously tons of other sleepy teas that you can try, also lavender tea is really great for sleeping and just having a good nightly routine is obviously great. I do wanna do a nightly routine soon for you guys and a morning one, I know I've promised that for a while now, but it is coming, I promise. So that is it for my monthly favorites. I had so much fun filming this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Again, before you guys go, please don't forget to hit the bell icon down below. I'm going to stress it so strongly now that YouTube is doing all of these crazy things and changing up the algorithm. It's so frustrating and I really want you guys to be able to see my videos. So definitely hit the bell down below if you do want to see them. And again, if you guys do like when I do monthly favorites like these, then I will definitely do more of them. Just let me know down below. And that's basically it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching again and I hope to see you guys next time.